Hey everyone, Technomancer here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to erase and reset your iPhone back to factory settings. This is something you would do if you're looking to sell, trade in, or give away your iPhone and you want to delete everything you had on your iPhone. But before you do that, one thing you should consider is if you haven't backed up your iPhone, you want to do it by going to your setting, tap on your Apple account, click on iCloud, and then click on iCloud Backup and do a backup now. And if you didn't want to do it or if you wanted to back it up and you already moved over your data to another phone, you want to proceed again. Just a caution, something you want to do if you want to save your data. But if you're ready to erase and delete everything, start in your setting and then go to General and then scroll all the way down where it says Transfer Reset iPhone. You're going to click on that. And finally, you see the option that says erase all content and settings. So we're going to tap on that. Now, what's going to get erased and reset? Basically, all of your apps that you downloaded, any of your data like photos, videos, apps. It'll also remove your Apple account off the phone and then turn off Find My so it's not linked with your account. And also delete your eSIM if you have any eSIM on the phone. And then you can see here, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And you have the option here to either keep your eSIM if you're going to, again, use your phone or delete the eSIM and completely erase all data. So either option that applies to you, well, both of them will completely delete your option. If you're trading in, giving away, or selling it, you probably want to delete your eSIM as well. But if you're going to still be using the phone and set it up again, you want to keep your eSIM and delete data. So pick the option that suits for you. So I'm going to pick one here. And then after that, it's going to try to upload your data to iCloud. If you didn't want to do that, you can just skip that. But I recommend doing that again so that you have your data that you can move over to your other device that you're setting up. So wait for that. And finally, you need to enter your Apple ID account password to turn off Find My. And we're going to go ahead and do that for my account. And finally, once you enter the Apple ID password that's linked with this account that's on this device, going to click on turn off up the top here and wait for so sometimes you might have to click it once or twice and it might seem like it's frozen it's not it's just starting the process and you'll see the Apple logo up here which is a good sign it means it started the process to erase and reset your iPhone now this process can take somewhere between a few minutes to 10-15 minutes all depends on how much data that you have on your phone so it's always a good idea to keep your phone plugged into a charger during this process or make sure you have at least 50% or more charge to continue. And we're going to wait out until we get to the hello screen which will indicate that the phone has been successfully erased and the data has been deleted back to factory default. And as you can see, finally, we see the hello screen, which means our phone has been successfully reset. If I swipe up, it's going to ask me for things like language and region, like if I were to set it up back as a new phone. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your phone. We'll see you guys next time.